Welcome back guys to another video. It is a big one. So over the past couple of days, we've been working on building up for our E85 swap and today is the day. We are officially on our way to get our first 10 gallons of E85 fuel from uh, Sheets in Greenville. Um, it's not too far away from me either. Um, it's also called Flex Fuel. So if y'all don't know what E85 is, E85 stands for 85% ethanol. And the other 15% is gasoline. And the reason why 15% is gasoline and 85% is ethanol is, I mean, ethanol is alcohol made out of corn. So people don't drink it out of the pump because you know, the idiots in the world will do that. So there are a couple of benefits. So the first benefit is it run, it uh, burns cooler. All right. So it doesn't uh, get as hot. Um, secondly, another good benefit is it does not have very high emissions at all. Like it does not pollute as much as regular gasoline would. So when it comes to doing emissions, you mean running really low emissions. Burns very clean. Um, a little bonus uh, reason is it also will help break down carbon. And it does not build up carbon, which is awesome. It's gonna run a clean engine. And lastly, this is a little bit more on the scientific side, but on the molecular level when it comes to E85, correct me guys if I am wrong, but gasoline takes 32 parts gasoline for one oxygen. All right, E85 takes 13 parts because E85 already has oxygen in it on a molecular level. It has oxygen in it already, which is why it burns cooler and has less emissions. But that means that you are gonna have a lot more power with it. So rule of thumb when it comes to um, doing an E85 swap, follow the 33% rule. You need 33% bigger injectors, 33% bigger fuel lines, which on the Grand Prix, from my understanding, is they're, they're fine the way they are. And you need 33% more powerful fuel pump that supports E85. And that's, that's what we got. So I'm going to go and get this E85. Uh, when I get back to the house, we're going to test it. Um, so we can see exactly how much ethanol is in it. And I'll show you all how to do that. Um, a lot of people don't do that, but that's okay. I'm just doing it for you guys, just so you know. Then I'm gonna show you all how to flash the tune. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you all when I get back. In case you were wondering, this is what we're getting. I know it says 51% to 83%, that's okay. Sometimes they run a little different but that's what we're getting today. All right, we're back and fueling up. Got a little gravity feed going on here because I don't feel like holding that can up by myself. So we're gonna go ahead, what we're gonna do next, while it's filling up with uh, E85 or whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna sit in here and we're gonna do a little tuny tune. All right, so we got the car ignition on. Fuel is going into the tank still. Um, so currently here is the tune that we have. That is loading up. Got that from Bo from um, ZZ Performance. It's gonna be our last tune, but for 88 pound injectors on E85. Now this tune will not work with any car. This is for my specific vehicle when he got it tuned. The retunes are $65 and the uh, regular tunes are 150 bucks. I have an HP tuner, so it's really cheap for me. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we are going to go to right to vehicle. And this right here is our tune file. So make sure we get that right. And we are going to, let me make sure this is on the right setting. All right, we're gonna click right. Car is gonna do its thing. It's gonna start writing, blah, blah, blah.
Now it's currently erasing the tune on my computer. Now it's writing. So this can take a second or two. One moment. All right, cleaning up and write complete. Completed. All right, so we're gonna go to close. And that's it. That's it for writing the tune onto the car. Pretty simple. Um, if you're looking into getting one of these, this is the MPVI2 Plus. All right, there's a three out now. Honestly, I don't know I get to three, get to two, it does everything three does. Um, it's just got a few different features. Um, but that's it. So I'm gonna go finish putting the fuel in the car, put the other uh, tank on, and um, we're gonna start it up and basically burn all that fuel. It's basically gonna be half a tank. So, be right back. All right, so this is an E85 tester. Um, you can get them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. So firstly, you fill water up to that blue line right there, and then you fill the rest up to that yellow line with your E85. You shake it really, really good, let it sit for five minutes, and then it separates, and it should tell you where uh, where that uh, ethanol level is. All right, now it's time to shake, 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 shake. Now we let that sit for five minutes and it should separate. So we're gonna go sit it. We'll just sit it right here. We'll come back and uh, check on that in five minutes. Look at that, you can already see it bubbling. Definitely not 85. Still going down. All right, time has passed. Now let's check out the results. Looks like we're at 70%, that is not bad. Normally, uh, it's, I mean, it's definitely within range, so that's cool. All right, we are all 10 galloned up. Let's get all this crap off the car. What do you say we start it up and see what happens? Fine, look at the bubbles! You're such a child. Clean your car. <laughs> all right, let's start it. All right. Moment of truth. <laughs> it's running good. All right, so we're gonna go over here and reset our average fuel economy to see what we get. So I'm gonna go drive it and burn this fuel up. Uh, after that, I gotta fill a tank up and then and then uh, get a log. So, see y'all in a little bit after it cycles all the old fuel out. All right, so it's been a couple of days. So right now, what I'm doing is I am running a log for ZZP. And if you've done this before, you know exactly what this is. But um, basically, it's it's logging how the car acts, the air and fuel mixtures, and and all that stuff. Um, that's our updated fuel economy. Now that's given that I have floored it several times um, over the last couple of logs that I've made. I had a um, vacuum leak somewhere. I had to fix and figure out. So so far, I mean, it's running pretty good. All right. So here's a little bit of. Uh, acceleration action for you. Oh goodness. And still even a couple of days later, after the first couple of tunes, it is running great. Every tune, it runs better. It starts better. Um, you normally have to get your fuel table 20% higher on um, cold cranking. But other than that, it's running great. So uh, thank you for watching this one. Um, until then, drive easy.